Hi guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, then I have some fun videos for you. You guys, yes indeed, you've caught me. This is part three, okay? She is that obsessed, Miss Anti-Trend herself, okay? Is that obsessed with the bag charm situation that I have indeed made three videos, or this is my third video of this topic, okay? I am so enamored, obsessed, in love with this funness that is decorating your bags that I indeed had to come with you with a part three. Here are some of my favorite ways to decorate your bag, including some of my favorite bag charms. Well, first and foremost, if you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put out videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and so I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. Okay, guys, if you've seen my first video and then my second video, my first video, I really went over some of my favorite, like, Oh, drool worthy bag charms like Loewe. There are just some incredible brands doing this and have all, have always done this. By the way, all credit to places like Louis Vuitton and Loewe, okay, who have always been coming out with elite level bag charms. Kate Spade, I think I had. Anya Hinden March. Hinden March, I think how you say it. I might know I'm never saying things correctly. I had all those on my first list. Then my second video, I went over my craziness, okay? How I've decorated three or four or four, I'm on my fifth one now, four of my <laughs> bags. And today, even in that last video, I was like, all right, I have to save a couple more. I just have to do one more part. Maybe there will be multiple more parts. I'm already over explaining, but there were some bag charms that I had my eyes on, my radar, you know, tuned to. And I was like, okay, save it, save up. We'll save up for one last video again, maybe, maybe not. One more video in addition. And I just have to put this one out here first because again, your girl's birthday is coming up, you know? But anyway, I'm totally joking. Please nobody buy this for me. But you know, if any of my friends are watching and my family is watching, there's a bag charm for Magda Boutron because again, I've been talking about her so much and I just love her. And one of my favorite, most favorite bag charmed bag, bag charmed up bags <laughs> is my Magda Boutron Maya bag, which I just love so very much. Magda Boutron is just kind of, she's one of my favorite designers, I think, honestly. That's, that's a bold statement, but she's definitely becoming one of my favorite designers. We already know how much I'm obsessed with the rose motifs that she does in leather and fabric on the bags, on the dresses. I will always say Tamara, like a brand, I, in my opinion, Magda Boutram and Tamara Kalanick are like a match made in heaven, a true match made in heaven. If, that, if the rose buds could get any better, like different, not saying that one is better than the other, but the bag charm with the rose on it and the dangle down crystals. Oh my gosh, I want this so badly. It is stunning. And we know I have like, I think all, no, most of my bags that I've charmed up, there's a flower element. It's just me, even though I'm such a weird, like minimal person, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I love flowers, okay? I've made many flower pieces for my jewelry collection, okay? I have many flower tattoos. I just really love flowers so much. I'm so sorry. This is my favorite. This is the best flower bag time I've ever seen. The words that I describe Magda Boutram with are, there's like a dark romanticism, meaning it's not like light and airy, like coquette. There's something so like, sensual and sexy about her pieces and this bag charm literally marries the two things that I love about her the most the flower elements that are still again romantic not cutesy not saying that there's anything wrong with a cutesy bag charm I have uh, my Magna Butcher bag in fact is the one with all the cutesiest charms on it anyways it's so it's just a really cool interpretation of a rose it's very simple maybe that's why I like it but she also added in her crystal details, which again, I've said many times, but those crystal earrings, the crystal, which are very similar, honestly, to my Layla Sophia <laughs> jewelry ear cuffs. Again, you know, if anyone who wants to just drop those by my door, I just, those two elements marrying together into a bag charm of all things, if you can't already tell, I'm obsessed and I literally need this one. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad I found this one, okay? Because there are some like luxury design houses that, just have put up like one of the cute, like just the cutest little bag charm as an option. And it's not like a whole category, but it's just like, oh, they did it right on the first one. 
the Zimmerman ice cream cone. The, <sighs> roses and ice cream. Two of my favorite things in life. Flowers, really cool, pretty whatever flowers and ice cream. Just had some, you know, Van Leeuwen yesterday. Ice cream is your girl's favorite thing. Favorite dessert of all time. Are you kidding me? And this one, like, I can just see all the Zimmerman girlies. All the people with their cool, like, uh, you know, I don't even know, like, really she way chicer than I'll ever be. Really cool Zimmerman outfits. A really beautiful bag. And then this just dangling off the side of it. It's, like, kind of summer perfection. Perfection for, ever, for all year round. Because, you know, I'm an ice cream girl. All year round, I get it. It's summery. It's very south of France. But it could be chic the whole year round. Similarly, Jill Sander has blessed us with the little mushroom charm. Like, oh. Gosh, I am so glad I found these two because the, I'm so sorry. Like everybody has a mushroom, but Jill Sanders mushroom might be my favorite. And I get, I can't believe I'm saying this on my channel. Like I get that the, there's like innuendos there, but like I, mushrooms are just actually my favorite vegetable. Like no funny, you know, no, no fun and games in that. I'm a very, you know, I'm a very sober type of human being. And I, but I really just love mushrooms. Like, honestly, I would put this on my bag happily so. And to add in an OG one, because I haven't really, I mean, maybe I have again, like Loewe has always been doing this. There is one, because yes, like the Fendi ones, you can get pre-loved and they're really cool, but there is indeed one major design house that I've always kind of, you know, just my eye has always been, oh, what's up, oh, What's the price on these currently? They're ridiculous, but I just can't stop but love them because from Louis Vuitton, the Vivian Fashionista bag charms, I'm sorry, you gotta give it to. I'm so sorry. You just gotta give it to how freaking fabulous and adorable they are. I, again, might not wanna buy one personally. <laughs> I'd rather spend however much like $1,300 on something else, but if someone were to like, just say, oh, you know, you can have my old one, I would put that on one of my vintage Louis bags so quickly, you know that my, I'm like, my DNA is secretly coded and loving vintage Louis. And what a good transition. Because welcome to the newest culprit. The new, wait, the newest victim, sorry. <laughs> welcome to the newest victim of me being a ridiculous human. I did kind of take some things. I took one, two charms from my Louis Speedy 35. This vintage Donna Karen, which I talked a lot about in my first bag charm video because I think one of the coolest ways to do bag charms is to get a vintage, ridiculously gorgeous, like medallion, bracelet, anything. I'm really obsessing over one that my mom has from Donna Karen that I think we need to turn into a bag charm for her or I can share it, time to share it or something. It's like literally so amazing. I need to get one for myself, essentially. Uh, these two I had on my Speedy 35 and then I was like, I love my Speedy 35, but I will wear my 25 because this, if you guys don't know, as most, I'm not going to say most people, but a lot of people in the collecting, you know, collecting world, a good old Louis bag was our first bag. And this indeed was my very first bag that literally is now I've had in my collection for almost 16 years which is really crazy and now I feel old, but I was a youngling, okay? So thank you, mom. I love you very, very, very much. Okay, so the reason why I'm showing this is because your girl over here, you know, I am, obs I am, I, clearly I have an obsessive personality, okay? I, like, the reason why I've been loving bag charms, because yes, I could have invested and gone crazy and got a bunch of like really cool vintage medallions to put on my bag charms, thank God. The Popmart gods saved me from that because this is a lot less expensive. <laughs> Still is not nothing, but I discovered my, I think they're called IPs. I don't know anything about this world. I'm very new. I'm sorry if I'm offending any Skull Panda Popmart fans. My favorite IP, aka character, aka designer for Popmart or any of the like umbrella company, you know, adult, like really cool art to art to toy companies. I fell in love with Skull Panda. Okay, I've said this already again in like five videos. So I love you guys. Thank you for listening to me repeat myself for the 18th time. But literally, something about it again. It's like they're not all super gothy and emo and weird, but it speaks to me. Actually, my favorite series is like the light, airy, called the warmth, and that I already, you know, have a couple from. And I need. To, there's two more that I'm actually three more, but two more that I'm like dying for. 
Long story short, Skull Panda, as soon as I realized, first of all, I can get these on Amazon. Okay, your girl is lazy. I'm not gonna be going down to the like downtown New York City location. I'm saving that for my birthday. I'll do something fun then, or I'll just order. I might just honestly do like a crazy order of already opened boxes because she's a curator and I can't help it. I need the colors and the characters to be, all right, this video is, sorry. Let me tone it down. Long story, very long. I fell in love with Skull Panda and then I realized you can literally just take a little thing again from Amazon for like $8 get these little, it's essentially just a jump loop with a little screw on the bottom. You just screw it into their heads. Like it's the easiest thing of all time. <laughs> and there you go, bing, bang, boom, you have a keychain. If you don't want to do that, they also, sorry, they also sell little like display box vinyl plasticky things that you can put yours in. I have one of these on my Kelly. And then I have this one because there are ones that like you kind of can't screw into. Don't worry, I did mess up on one and realize that I couldn't, maybe two, and realize that I, that it, it won't work. So here, this is the perfect solution. I know every, I know some people already hate this one. So I'm so sorry. It's the Dormouse from Alice in Wonderland, guys. Like it's so cute to me. I know people think that it's super creepy, but you just get one of these like little plastic holders and they have them again on Amazon. They have one specifically for Sunny Angels and this one I think is pretty universal. You could put a Sunny Angel or, or multiple, honestly, or a Skull Panda. So this just, you know, where's my last one? This is my most recent one. This is the snow from the Ink Plum. I just, yeah, we've gone crazy with the color schemes, but this is for me to say that any of the characters doesn't have to just be on Pop Mart, but Pop Mart is just so much fun and I think there's like so much ridiculous detail that goes into them. Any of the characters, I really am stopping myself from going into Hirono because then that'll just be a whole other thing and I want like all of the series or one from all of the series. Just make your own. Like it's just, that's so fun because they're so unique and yes, a lot of Skull Panda's very, very, Pop Mart in general is like wildly popular, like hard to get sell out popular. So, like insanely, we'll get onto the most popular one in a second. But in your day-to-day -day life, if you put them on a bag, like I even went to the PIQ yesterday, literally at Grand Central, and the people working there, like that's what they do. That's their job to sell these like art toys. They were like, oh, this bag is amazing. It's like, no, you're like you're very unlikely to come across people who have these little things, especially like the ones that you get or in blind boxes on their bags. So essentially it's unique. And you can choose your choose your fighter, choose your character. There are so many, I know so many people are obsessed with a bunch of other ones that'll have up on the screen. Anyways, Pop Mart, Kika Goods, any of those things. And then the one that is my most recent obsession, which I will explain to you in two seconds. I have cheated, you guys. I have really, really cheated and just, you know, for just a tiny bit over retail, you can indeed find people who resell these. And so I got the very sold out, very sought after little la -boo -boo from the Macaroon series, Macron series. I may or may not have another one arriving this week. Okay, I had to get, I had to get like the paler, I don't even know, it's like almost cream color one, whatever, and I had to get the toffee, okay? She's upset. I feel, is the other one called like milk tea or something? I can't even remember or light, no, the light cheese, the pink one. Anyways, it was very hard for me to pick and I had to get one of these. Dylan, I hope you got one too. For you and for Lucy, okay? I hope you treated yourself and her. These I'm obsessed with. Again, some of my friends here, you know, in the creator world, it's just a whole thing. And having this on your, on your bag, like on TikTok, yes, there's a thousand people, but like on the streets of New York City, on Madison Avenue, nobody else has this and it's adorable and it just makes me really, really happy. Last thing as Jessie from Jessie Style, who I've been talking about so much lately because again, it's the bag charms. She's been doing it forever. I'm so sorry, credit to her. First and foremost, credit all of the bag charm fun credit goes to her. Like I showed her one that I got from the Lola one series. I'm probably saying, I'm like truly a novice. I'm so sorry again, if you guys are like experts watching this. Just know that I humbly bow down to you guys who are the experts. I, my, I have always been this way. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm admitting it to myself, which I feel good about. I've always been the weird kid. The Labyrinth and the NeverEnding Story were my favorite movies growing up. Also, I've been rewatching all of Fairy Tale Theater because Shelley Duvall passed away. And I, anyway, she's always been the weird, you know, weird person. And so I've also taken plushies, as Jessie calls them. I always called them stuffed animals. But like, plushies is a way cuter descriptive term. I got a Lola one from Kika Goods. <laughs> 
And I just literally put a little jump loop in its head, like way easier than even screwing one in. So easy. So essentially, long story short, you can also just take your little favorite plushies from Jelly Cat, from Kiga Goods, from literally anywhere, make that into a bag charm and bing, bang, boom, there you go. I can't wait to hear all of your thoughts again. Yes, I know. Ridiculousness part three. I'm so excited. Thank you guys for letting me share this with you and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Bye guys.